take down one of her titties. Mastectomy incoming. Bam! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome back to Pokemon Clover. We've been roosed into a cruise with the Jews. Um, so I don't know, I, my Pokemon are looking a little bit weak at the moment, I'd like to go heal them up somewhere. But I can only wonder if I have a, a bed or some such somewhere that I could uh, possibly lay down in. I'm gonna go ahead and switch some Pokemon around just in case we get into some double battles, because you never do know. Ain't that the truth? Oh, what is this? What is this? The in-between seems reluctant to talk to each other. Oh, come on, little bros. I, I could I could make your friends again. Can I borrow your bed? Seems not. Well, this is not good at all. I'm going to uh, have quite a hard time getting through this. Luckily, as I said, it's not a Nuzlocke, so we will be okay in the end. And uh, I've heard rumors of there being a secret garden somewhere in the Fortune region. Apparently, only a select few t trainers are allowed to enter. Ooh, the secret garden! You guys remember that movie? Nobody does. Nobody does, and that's okay. Hey lady, I tried to walk out in the hallway, but I got forced back in here by someone who called themselves Team Karma. Yeah, you know, they have those Karma people goes, they go on Reddit, you know, got the good boy points, stuff like that. I made a good post, it's funny, please upvote! LOLs. I like jock straps. they're comfy and easy to wear. Uh, they're not either of those things. Thank you very much. Nobody likes a jockstrap. You like the cup that goes on the jockstrap because then you're immune to being kicked in the in the nads. Galavik, um, it, it Galvik. I guess it's a steel type, maybe poison type. Quite interesting to me. I think uh, magnitude's gonna do some damage either way. So let's see how this go. And he's only well, he's level 23, same as me. Critical hit, super effective. Get your shit out of here. Good job, Douglas. Well done, Douglas. <laughs> That's so great, very expensive. Uh, and there's the Gamster. Oh snap, my old buddy Gamster. That's like uh, the boy version of Kim. And I got slashed really hard. I'm gonna see what Bullet Seed's gonna do. Uh, and Decker is looking in shit shape, so I'm not gonna be able to bring him out. Uh, he's basically just gonna die to anything. Uh, do I have any items? It's uh, been just a minute. I took a little breaky break. We got a super potion. Maybe that'll be good. Decker, here you go. Have some super potion. That's super. And this thing's gonna howl, which is not good. I probably should have done bullet seed again. I might be able to knock it out with another bullet seed, but now that it's howled, I think that slash is gonna uh, wreck Douglas's day. So we'll bring in Decker. Fury Cutter, it's going to do nothing! Oh, it, it worked okay, actually. Hmm, rock throw rollout, self-destruct. We should just self-destruct. I think that would be the most lousy thing that we could do at this point. Blow up in that thing's face after I just use a super potion on it. But that's probably not the best idea ever. Uproar, good, lock yourself into that shitty move. Uh, it's a normal type attack, so it's not gonna do anything against my rock types. Hell yeah, get some, dude. So, a little magnitude for your attitude. A little percussive attitude adjustment. That's what they call it when the cops beat your ass. If you're being a, a dick to the cops, they pull in a dark alley, give you a percussive attitude adjustment. I, I mean, I think they should do that more nowadays. Actually, they, they probably do it plenty. <laughs> Whether you hear about it or not, I'm sure it happens. So uh, we got a couple more pokes up to level 24. That's quite nice. I don't believe it. Neither do I, bro. It's crazy about those cops. Oh, are you talking about something different? Shorts are overrated. You take it fucking back. You shut your dirty mouth. It's not true. It's not true! Shorts are the best. Especially living in the Philippines. I always used to wear jeans when I was in California. Now that I'm out here, wearing shorts all day every day. Because it's, uh, it's hot as shit. They're so comfy and easy to wear. Team Karma's on the ship. Tell the officer and I'll be right with you. Well, uh, can I... Sleep in one of these beds somewhere, recover some health, perhaps. Oh, this room's empty. How about here? Nope, not gonna happen. TM5 contains roar. Well, that's that's nice, I guess. Inside this trash can, there's nothing! I was just hoping for uh, a potion or something. I need to heal my little self, don't you understand? Oh, here's uh, the galley, that's what they call it on the ship. 
This is the kid who beat us over at Gaddick. Huh, <laughs> looks like a total pushover. Ah, uh, you might be surprised. I got some pretty cool Pokemon, even if most, most of them are dead. <laughs> Team Karma Grunt set out no goat. Look at that thing. It's like a superhero goat. How are you going to find a superhero goat? With acid. Even superheroes aren't resistant to acid. Acid. It's probably not going to do much damage. Yeah. It's a little bit shitty. Um, Decker's looking in pretty bad shape. I guess we're just going to roll with it. I guess we're going to do what we can do. I might even die to this fucking grunt. Wouldn't that be the worst? Wouldn't that be the worst thing ever? I think I'm going to get Gremlin out of here. We'll go into Decker. Maybe he can weather a hit. Just one hit. That's all I really need. Do it, Decker! Do it! Go! Yep, one hit. That's all we get. And nothing in the bag, I'm almost sure. Pokedoll. Use it to flee from a battle with a wild Pokemon. Well, this is not a wild Pokemon. It's a trainer's Pokemon. They ain't gonna fall for none of that. Here, self-destruct. Yeah! Get some, bitch! <laughs> that worked out okay. Uh, probably not the best choice I could have made, but... I really enjoy that move. I tell you what. Let's send out Pecker. Half of my team is now dead. Um, so we got three Pokemon against their three Pokemon. Let's see what happened. Uh, Pecker also does Morning Sun, so that's going to be pretty helpful. Let's try Rollout. If I can get this Rollout going pretty heavy, then uh, I can knock out some Pokemon nice and quick. The Mei Mei uses Home Claws, Attack and Accuracy up. Which is, uh, not too scary. I mean, if this thing evolved, then maybe I'd be a little more scared. Uh-oh. Now he uses scary face, so my rollout's gonna be moving last, which is okay. It is a pretty powerful move. Oh, wow! With the home claws behind that headbutt, uh, I got hurt. I got hurt real bad. Let's try the morning sun. Nope, headbutt came out first. Yeah, that speed drop did really matter right there. So, uh, my, my rough skin hurt the Mei Mei just a little bit, but my team is, uh, my team has gone to shit. If you want me to be honest, it's, it's not looking good. At least if we die, I can get a full recovery, but I probably should have, uh, spent some more money if that was the case. If you're gonna, if you're gonna die and you know you're gonna die, just spend all your money. Then they don't have any money that they can take from you. Uh, he sends out a war now, which I might be able to do some stuff against. It's a grass type. I uh, live through the razor leaf. Gonna slam it with some acid. There you go. Take some of that right there. And then uh, I guess I'll switch him to Douglas. Gremlin's about to go down. It's it's an exercise in futility at this point, but um, I gotta do what I can do to save the world. So magnitude and my grass moves are not gonna work on this grass type. So I'm going with bite. And hopefully it's going to be able to get through that Reflect okay. Oh god. It no synthesis. This is not good! This is absolute shit. I should have just stayed in and uh, had Gremlin do some more poisony shenanigans, but... Hindsight's 2020. You know? I didn't know this thing was like a... Clever little, uh... Whatever. A clever supporting typey thing. Oh, I'm able to flinch it there. I know it's trying to set another Reflect up. And there goes the Synthesis. I think Synthesis only has like 5 or 10 PP, so uh, it can't do this forever. My Bite is definitely going to outlast whatever it's got there. But it's whittling me down pretty good, and uh, there's one more Pokemon after this one. I would just consider an extreme victory if uh, we're able to get through this, this last team before going down. Just want to push it as far as possible. Push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge. You know what I'm talking about? A little more bite. This thing's gonna use synthesis. I'm pretty sure. Nope. There goes the razor leaf. Oh, my Pokemon are just looking terrible. Let's bring Gremlin back in. Uh, I hope it's synthesis. Synthesis There it is. And maybe I'll be able to hit it with an acid or something. But uh, yeah. I think this is it. I think this is all going downhill. It uses Reflect again, has a little bit of mercy on me, so thank you for that. And uh, Sludge does quite a bit of damage. I think it's special, special type attack. Because even with the Reflect up, uh, yeah, we're able to do some massive damage through the Reflect. Uh, but 
Gremlin goes down to a Razor Leaf. I think Douglas is going to go down to a Razor Leaf, unless he can get the bite off quicker. Oh, look at that! Bite! Well, we got to see their last Pokemon. I guess that's uh, somewhat of a victory. It's a Donkey Pee! Poison and Flying, right? I think that's correct. So, bite is really all I have to hit this thing. It has a wing attack anyways, super effective. Fucking Douglas goes down. Ah! Eh! Alright. Take some money. I don't care. I don't even care. How can I care anymore? Date scared to a Pokemon Center! Yep, I sure did. So, we can't heal on this boat, is uh, what I'm going to assume. They're like, healing's for plebs, bruh. You don't want to heal, do you? Yes, I do. On the SSN, they have a nice bed that I can sleep in. Here, they ain't got shit. They got nothing. Uh, let's uh, try and find a Pokemon Center. Or the Pokemon Mart, rather. And see if I can buy some goodies. Just a little bit. Um, how many... I have six Pokeballs. I have no Great Balls. So I should probably buy just a few Great Balls. So I can... Uh, catch things should I come across them and then super potions we can afford 15 of them I will take 10 that should be enough to get me through get me through this uh, ridiculousness that I'm about to face hmm we've got repels here ether antidotes yeah I don't think I need any of this stuff really I think I do have one antidote might do me do to get another one though. We get three of these. Burn heal. Mmm. I don't. I don't really see myself using any of these uh, status items, but yeah, you, you never know. It could save my shit at uh, at some point. So we'll take some ice heals. We'll take some awakenings. Mmm. Awakenings are expensive. Well, I'll take one. Just one. We can wait for it to wear off if worse comes to worse. And then, uh, three Paralyzed Heals. That'll do. That's all our money. That's all the money I spent at all. Oh well. It's for a good cause, I'm sure. Look at this, look at this crazy asshole. This thing raises the experience your Pokemon gains in battle! Oh, that's right, we have the Lucky Egg. That's what he's talking about. I should probably give the Lucky Egg to someone we're having trouble leveling, but, uh, Gremlin is actually doing pretty good. I was having a little bit of trouble getting her leveled, but, um, yeah. It's all turned around. Still, it seems a waste to not give it to anyone. Sharp Beak. Yes, I'm gonna give this to, uh, Pecker. Because she has the, the flying type moves. Uh, Lucky Egg, I give to Kim. Because Kim is a little bit underleveled at the moment. And it seems like that's about all we have to share. Oh, we got the Macho Brace. Ket can have the Macho Brace. Because he's so macho, bruh. He's gonna be the strongest ever. Um, and I guess that's all we really have. Except these key items, but... What what the hell's my little Pokemon's gonna do with a key item? Nothing! Alright, Kim. Get out there in front. You're gonna be awesome. I'm gonna go back and kick this dude's ass. You think what you did was alright? Huh? This is the kid who beat us at Gaddick. Yeah, and you're the dude who beat me like five minutes ago. But now I've got Pokemon healing items, and uh, I'm totally gonna hand you your shit. So, just prepare. Just prepare your butt for what is about to happen now. So, I'm stuck between Hal and Sing. I guess I'm not gonna waste time singing, because it misses most of the time anyways. So, we'll go ahead and get the Hal up. Ooh, wow, that horn attack does a lot. Hopefully he doesn't headbutt me, but uh, let's see how Slash do. How Slash do? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Bulldoze is going to drop my speed, which is a pain in my ass. Um, I'm going to get Kim out of here. I don't think she's going to be faster than that thing anymore. Let's try... Hmm, let's try Decker. Let's try Pecker. Pecker! <laughs> don't try Pecker, kids. Not even once. <laughs> Yeah, I should have gone for, uh, Decker, because that headbutt is quite devastating, but Pecker does have the, uh, Morning Sun, so I can sort of heal myself back up. Able to knock that thing down, get that level for Kim. Huzzah! 
And there's a level for Pecker as well. Good job. Everybody's growing up so fast. You guys are doing so great. There's a May May. Hello, May May. Lovely to see you again, but not really. I think it only has normal type attacks, so maybe... Maybe Decker can do. But then... They're all at level 24, and I need to get my level 23 Pokemans uh, a little bit higher first. Well, let's... Let's see what it do. Let's see what it do first. And uh, if it's really that hurdy, then maybe we'll we'll consider switching some things out. It does scary face, which is not hurdy, not scary. Now it's probably going to go for an attacking move. I'll go into Kek. We'll see how Kek can do. Uh, I wonder what sort of EVs this thing gets. If I had to guess, I would say attack, attack EVs. But I'm 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 not too sure. Go ahead and get a free hit with Fake Out. Yeah, Meme flinched. And a little bit of a uh, faint attack. Ooh, those headbutts hurt. Damn. My team is getting its shit handed to it. Well, what's what's the difference, you know? Uh, anywhere we go in this game, it seems like the Pokemon are about the same level as we are. So, not very nice, is what I can say. So, there's that poison flying type. I don't want to uh, have a flying type move hit Kekroach, because he's, he's going to be hurt quite severely by that. Uh, so we'll go into Decker. Decker should be able to throw some rocks and ground this flying type ASAP. Uses Poison Tail. Oh wow, I think that's gonna be a... Uh... Oh, it's not very effective. I thought Poison was weak against ground and not rock. Maybe it's weak against both. I'm not too sure. Regardless, uh, that does a shit ton of damage. This thing is almost done already. Before it even got started. Hopefully I'm not gonna get poisoned or anything like that. All stat changes were eliminated. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. Destroy him. Destroy him. All right. So Decker gets a little experience. Keck, not quite enough to level him up. Uh, and this is the Clovor thing. That was giving me so much trouble the last time around. Um, I kind of want to use a little potion on Keck. And I think Razor Leaf is this thing's only attacking move. So... It should be just fine. I'm really hoping that it doesn't smack Decker with a Razor Leaf. I think it's going to go for Reflect or something like that. Oh, no, no. There goes the Razor Leaf. Please don't faint. Don't faint. I don't have any revives. I can use them. Uh, which is which is great if I have them, but I don't have them at the moment. And revives aren't sold in shops, at least not until the very late game. And uh, since I can't heal on this fucking boat, yeah, it's a pain. It's a real pain in the ass. I think I can go off the boat, though, and go to the Pokemon Center, and everything's awesome. I think. But I haven't tried that yet. Oh, that thing sets up the Reflect, so my Bug Bite is going to do half damage. It still should do some okay damage, yeah. That's going pretty nice. And uh, instead of synthesizing, it goes for the Razor Leaf again, which I do appreciate. Thank goodness. Please take it down. Yes. Nice. Sweet revenge! Ah. Uh, whenever a trainer beats you, it's so great to come back and beat him back. Whoa, jeez, take it easy! No, you! Bruh! Think this a fucking game? I mean, it is, but you know what I mean. Now I can see how those other grunts lost to you. Well, I mean, they're grunts. I shouldn't have lost to you either. It's so disgraceful. So disgraceful. You bring shame on my family! Hey, buddy. What do you want, kid? Can't you see I'm posing in an, in an intimidating manner? <laughs> Not really. Ah, I'm big, I'm bad! Big, bad, scary man! Yeah, kinda. Your your friend there was more scary than any of you are. How are you doing, chefs? This is rude! I was working on the secret ramen recipe! Oui, oui, we surrender! Omelette du fromage! Omelette du fromage! Omelette du fromage! He's having a panic attack. Yeah, who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? There's nothing in the trash cans. I was hoping to find... Yeah, there's a Choppleberry. There was quite a few references there. You got uh, some from Dexter's Laboratory. Omelette du fromage. Anybody remember that episode? I watched it recently. Oh my. And then uh, I was hoping somebody would mention spaghetti. Spaghetti falling out of one of these chef's pockets. But uh, unfortunately that wasn't the case. Hi old man. Could you do me a favor? Could you tell my wife I love her? She's somewhere on this ship. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, thank you. I'll be seeing you soon, then. Do you know where she is on the ship, or are you just kind of like, ah, she's somewhere here. You must not love her that much if you don't even have tabs on her. Dang no. Hey, boy. They say battling gets in the way of living. Well, battling is a way of living, bruh. Remember that. Dr. Omar. He's got, like, uh, Dragon Ball hair. That's some pretty cool hair. Goku hair! That's pretty awesome! They sent out an arrow bomb. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sludge this thing to death. As long as it's able to get through the smoke screen. But it seems like it will be able to, you know? There's a little bit of smoke in the room, but I'm just shooting poison everywhere. Sludgy poison! Sludge gets everywhere, even when you don't want it to. Probably if you, uh, had a poison Pokemon. Oh my god. Error bomb you self-destruct. Allahu Akbar! <laughs> if you had a poison Pokemon, uh, and its sludge got on you, would you die from it? Probably so. It would give you, like, poke cancer or whatever. You gotta be very careful. Holy shit, a bowl of bowl. I think I used this thing in one of my thumbnails, and, uh, I thought it was absolutely adorable. Let's go ahead and glare and see if I can, uh, paralyze this thing. Oh no! It used to not very effective attack, but it was powerful. This thing is level 27. I, I neglected to notice that. So, um, now the question. Question of the day. What do we do next? I'm gonna try and send out Keck. My god, this thing is buff. Buff as shit. I'm gonna have to stop and uh, power level some dudes after this. Oh my god, What what is this? How did this happen? Sludge, and that's gonna hit me pretty good. I'm just getting my, my shit wrecked again. This is not good. This is so bad. I did spend all of my money, so... I mean, that's that's positive, I guess. But, my god. Now it's cursing. Speed drops, attack and defense up. So, I think it'll live through this magnitude. Oh, magnitude 4. Hell yeah, it's gonna live through it. And it's not going to do much at all, because its defense is up. Oh my gosh! It's cursing some more. I don't think Sludge is getting an attack boost. But maybe it has another attack that is uh, physical based. I'm not too sure. There's magnitude 8. See if that does some damage. This is all I really have to go against this thing is, uh, is Decker. So here's some more magnitude. Magnitude 7! Yeah! Hopefully it's not gonna counter or something, because it is moving last now. Glare. Shit doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. Nobody cares. Glare my, uh, rock-type Pokémon all you want. And luckily this thing has just decided to use Curse over and over and over, so... Good. Continue that! That will, uh, lead me to victory. Magnitude 9? Oh, buddy! That's it! Boom! Knock him out of the box! Alright. Good. Level 27. Holy shit, that was unexpected. Whew! Dr. Omar, think my days might be up. That's okay. You can go back to being a Super Saiyan or whatever. Listen, kid, it's not safe to have a retirement plan without investing in a 401k account. Talk to your employer right away. <laughs> Says the doctor. Yeah, thanks, bro. I'll get on that fucking 401k plan. I'm sure. I'm sure, uh... Independent contractors can, uh... Invest in a 401k without worrying, right? Wrong! Let's see if I can get off this ship and uh, heal my pokes so I don't end up dying again. That would be quite helpful to me. It was so convenient when they just had a little bed and you go go lay down in the bed and you're like, Oh, now all my pokes are all healed up. But it just couldn't be that way. I don't know why it couldn't be that way, but they didn't want to make it that way. That's why. Okay. Heal me up. Give me, give me some potions. Stab me with a dirty needle, Doc. We're gonna be awesome. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokémon to full health. We hope to see you again. Never wish to see somebody at a hospital again. If you're a, a nurse or something like that, don't be like, We hope you come back again soon, because they're gonna be like, You, you hope I'm sick again soon? <laughs> you're an asshole, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm the most uh, passive-aggressive nurse you've ever met. Alright, so let's continue looking for this fellow's wife. She has to be somewhere down here, no? Because he's like standing next to these stairs. That would make good sense to me. Are you impressed by my massive tit-eye? 
What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I hope that's Pokemon you're talking about. Beauty Bond Row, set out Titai and Titai. Oh, she's got two of them. Oh my god! It's kind of disgusting looking, isn't it? It's got like a big hentai tentacle hanging off the back. Whatever. We'll just slash this thing. Slash it good. Bullet seed it good. I don't know what type it is, so uh... We'll just do as much damage as possible. Take down one of her titties! Mastectomy incoming! BAM! Look at that! Down it goes! And uh... It's super effective. Grass is super effective. So what could it be? It could be a water type. Uh... But that, does that really make sense? I guess it does, because it's got like the big octopus tentacle on the back. So are titties water type? I thought they were filled with like, fats and such. But maybe that's like water soluble. I don't really follow the 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 logic behind this. Douglas is a little confused. That's okay. Kim's gonna clean this up with Slash on the next attack. Uh oh, another sweet kiss. Now they're both confused. They got kissed by kissed by titties, and now they don't know what to think. Well, Kim should know what to think, cause she's a girl. But wait, she's a lesbian girl. Oh damn it, that's why. That's why this is happening. Douglas, you're a man. A real man will not be swayed by just some tit eyes. Oh, and here comes a drain kiss. Jesus! <clears throat> These things aren't that tough, but um... Since I have the confusion hacks just going rampant, uh... It's not going well. It's not going well. Just slash. Nope. Keep hurting myself. Just, just endlessly hurting myself. Luckily, Douglas snapped out of confusion. Get that razor leaf, son! Ugh. That was more, more difficult than it needed to be, I think. Terrifying! Okay, okay, that's enough. Stop slapping my tit eyes around. <laughs> my tit eye worn out after our tussle. <laughs> God. It's a wild nin ninoop. Oh, it's just a dog glued to the ground. That's, uh, that's why I'm playing Pokemon Clover, so they, they make stupid references like that, and I can laugh like a little child. <laughs> it's silly. That lady had her titties out. <laughs> uh, Team Karma Dude running through the hall. What's this? Protein. Oh. You can go get protein to the, the tit eyes, you know? You know what I'm saying? Team Karma Grunt. I can't go to hell, I'm all out of vacation days. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one, bro! I think we're already there, bro! Uh, he's got a titai as well. It's a man with a titai. Moobs. That's what I'd name it. He sent out his moobs! Oh, it's super effective! Oh no! Please, please get them away from me! So, uh, maybe Bug Bite will work against this thing? Drain Kiss, I think, is a dark type attack, but it's also one of those new type attacks, so I'm not really sure. So what is weak against grass, but strong against bug? That is interesting to me. I'm not really sure. Weak against grass, strong against bug. I should pull out my, my type chart, because I'm not really able to uh, do the math in my head. Maybe it's got a second typing or something like that. Well, Kek is confused, so I want to get him out of here. We'll send in Kim. Kim should be able to take this thing down with a quick slash. Slash you the face! I caught you! Never question me how I caught you! Here we go. Bam. Done. Kim's got a sick attack stat. I will say that much. Kek grew up to level 24. Look at that boy! Growing up so big! And Kim, a little bit of XP. Clovor, this fucking thing bane of my existence. Just sing it sing it to sleep before it uses reflect or some bullshit. Now, I could uh, take this opportunity to howl myself up into a higher attack range, or I could just use Fury Cutter, and hopefully the next thing that comes out is also going to be weak to bug. So, Fury Cutter does some great damage. It's going to double uh, its attack power on the next turn. So, bam! That thing goes down. Nicely done. Well done, Kim! Yes, quite a victory we've had today, mmm! So I'm doing a little better now. Kim's trying to learn Uproar. Uh, I don't, mmm. Is it that strong, really? 50 power, it's special based. No, not gonna do it. 
Not gonna do it! Stop learning uproar. Because, uh, my Kim has a jolly nature, I think, so that, uh, reduces special attack. Well, you got me, you little weirdo. <laughs> That's me! I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. <laughs> R9K. R9K is on the boat. Everybody, say hello. Say hello to Robot. Whatever. Whatever, loser. <laughs> what are these what are these sailors doing? I'm scared to ask. Ooh, he he he. Hey, what what? This isn't what it looks like. Get out. I know it is. Oh, they locked the door. It was a ruse! A ruse! They rused me good! They said it isn't what it looks like. I know it's what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. And it's fine! If you guys want to do that in the privacy of your own cabin, I probably shouldn't have barged in like a little dick, but, um... Speaking of little dicks... Meh. <laughs> I'm hearing some lewd noises from the other side of that wall. Better not disturb. It was! It was quite lewd! <laughs> Rude and lewd! My goodness. Uh, I thought this might be that old guy's wife, you know, trophy wife kind of thing. But it seems not. Dayton found a hyper potion. Hell yeah, bruh! Put that in my items pocket. Are you that guy's wife, Dr. Dr. Nick? I forget his name. Omar. Dr. Omar! That's his name. So is that it for the Ruse Cruise? Nope. Here's one more. I'll level with you. I'm only here as a temporary job. I'm only stopping you because I needed to make money somehow. Well, me too, bruh. That's why I snuck up on you. Snuck up on you real good. What you got? Birdmen. Oh, that's a disturbing looking thing. Obviously in a vol form of donkey pee, so uh, probably poison and flying as well. I'll go ahead and fake that thing out and then switch Keck out. Because that is not going to go well for him, I do think. Decker. Decker, you're always, always a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Uh, poison tail? No poison, no poison. Okay. It didn't poison. I'll go ahead and, uh, just rock the roll out, you know? Because then I can kick back. I don't have to touch the controller or nothing. I just win the game. That's how it is. That's why Whitney loved her milk tank so... And also because Miltank, you know, had had tit eyes. <laughs> ah, it's a callback to like t five minutes earlier in the episode. Two rollouts, that thing's done. Excellent work, everyone. We can all go home satisfied. Does this have another Pokemon? I don't think so. Done. Already. Meh, I'm paid by the hour. I don't even care. <laughs> See, that's the trouble these days. Pay people by the hour, and they're like, eh, I don't care about my job. It's like, well, maybe you should. They're paying you by the hour, aren't they? God damn it. Hmm. We've also got the upstairs to explore, so, uh... We will do that in the next episode, friends. Please join me for it. This has been Pokemon Clover. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. You can even dislike if you dislike the episode, but... I'd also appreciate it if you told me why. You don't have to, but I would just appreciate that. Uh, additionally, there's uh, Twitter links, Discord links, Patreon links if you want to hit me up on any of those. That would be just awesome. I just uh, adore when people reach out to me. And whether it's for a good thing or a bad thing or just some uh, simple game requests, stuff like that, it's always helpful. So let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think. I value it all. Anyways, once more... This has been Pokemon Clover. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends. <laughs>